the great deception, more is not better. I want to start with a hard truth, a truth that the running industry, the shoe companies, and maybe even your running buddies don't want you to know. There is a lie that has infected the mind of almost every amateur runner. The lie is simple. If I want to get faster, I just need to run more. You look at the pros. You see Eliad Kipchoge running 200 kilometers a week. You see the guys on Strava bragging about their 100 kilometer weeks. And you think, if I'm running 40, I'm lazy. If I hit 80, I'll be a hero. So you wake up earlier. You skip lunch to squeeze in miles. You run on tired leg. And for a few weeks, you feel like a warrior. But then the cracks appear. You aren't getting faster. You're just getting tired. Your libido vanishes. Your motivation to work evaporates. You start getting injured. You are working harder than ever, but your body is actually degrading. Why? Because biology is not linear. Biology is math. And in the math of hormones, there is a specific number of kilometers where you are a superhero and a specific number where you become a patient. Today, I am going to show you the dose response curve of running. We are going to break down the exact mileage ranges that build testosterone versus the ranges that destroy it. We are going to find out if you are training enough to win or if you are training enough to castrate yourself. The curve. Visualizing your fate. I want you to visualize a graph right now. On the vertical axis, we have your hormonal health, your testosterone, your energy, your metabolic fire. On the horizontal axis, we have your weekly mileage. Most people think this line goes straight up forever. It does not. It looks like a bell curve an inverted U. At the start, as you add miles, the line shoots up. You get healthier, fitter, stronger. You reach a peak, the sweet spot. This is where you are bulletproof. But if you push past that peak, the line doesn't just flatten. It falls off a cliff. You enter a zone of diminishing returns and then a zone of negative returns. Today, we are going to put exact numbers on this curve. We will define the three zones of mileage, the health zone, the alpha zone, and the danger zone. Let's find out exactly where you are sitting on this curve right now. Zone 1 the health zone, zero to 30 kilometers per week. Let's start at the beginning of the curve. This is the recreational zone. We are talking about running three times a week, roughly five to 10 kilometers per run. Total volume, 15 to 30 kilometers per week for your longevity. This is the gold standard. The biggest jump in life expectancy doesn't happen when you run a marathon. It happens when you get off the couch. In this zone, you are doing enough to activate metabolic flexibility. You lower your blood pressure, you improve insulin sensitivity, and you reduce all-cause mortality by about 30%. You are healthier than 90% of the human population just by being here for your performance. Here is the catch. This is the maintenance trap. You will feel good, but you will plateau very quickly. Why? Because at 25 kilometers a week, you aren't providing enough structural stress. You aren't forcing the heart to stretch enough. You aren't forcing the mitochondria to multiply rapidly. You are a jogger, and there is nothing wrong with that. But you are not a competitive athlete for your hormones. This is a neutral zone. Running this amount improves blood flow, which helps with everything from brain function to erectile quality, but it is not enough to create a massive neuroendocrine adaptation. It won't hurt your testosterone, but it won't give you that massive alpha boost either. You are safe, but you are not optimized. Zone two, the sweet spot, 40 to 70 kilometers per week. Now we climb to the top of the curve. This is the holy grail. This is where the magic happens for the amateur male runner. We are talking about four to five runs a week, a structured long run, a tempo run, an easy volume, total volume, 40 to 70 kilometers for your running. This is the zone of maximum adaptation. Here you have enough volume to force the heart to change shape, eccentric hypertrophy. You are building a massive network of capital but, and this is critical, you still have enough rest days to absorb the training. You are stimulating the body, not annihilating it. This is the zone where four-hour marathons turn into 315 marathons. This is where you get fast. For your hormones, this is the peak. Studies suggest that moderate to high-intensity exercise in this volume range can actually optimize your hormonal profile. How? One, body composition. You burn visceral fat. Visceral fat contains an enzyme called aromatase. Aromatase converts your precious testosterone into estrogen. Less fat equals less aromatase equals more free testosterone. 2. Acute stress. The stress you place on the body is acute, not chronic. You hit the body hard, and then you recover. This signals the body to release growth hormone and testosterone to repair the damage. In this zone, you feel powerful. You wake up with energy. You have drive. You are biologically capable. If you want to be a fast runner and a potent man, 
This is where you want to live. The interactive self-audit. Are you crashing? But what happens if you push further? Before we talk about the danger zone, I want to pause. I want you to do a quick self-audit. Stop looking at your watch and look at your life. I want you to answer three honest questions. Question one, has your morning libido vanished? Morning wood is a key biomarker of nocturnal recovery. Question two, do you have the tired but wired feeling? Are you exhausted all day at work, but when you hit the pillow, you can't sleep? Question three, are you running more miles than last year, but your race times have stopped improving? If you answered yes to two out of three, pay very close attention to what comes next because you have likely crossed the peak and are sliding down into the crash. Zone three, the danger zone, 80 to 100 plus kilometers per week. This is the elephant in the room, the more is better mentality. You see the elites running 160 kilometers a week. So you think, if I run 100 kilometers, I will be 60% as fast as them. But you are forgetting the most important variable, lifestyle stress. An elite runner sleeps 10 hours a night. They nap at 2 p.m. Their food is prepared for them. They do not have a boss yelling at them. They do not have financial stress. You do. When you take a body that is already stressed by life and you add 100 kilometers of running stress, you break the system. For your hormones, this is red alert. At this volume, for a natural amateur athlete, you trigger the HPA axis dysfunction. Your body perceives that it is under constant threat. It thinks you are being chased by a lion 24-7. So it floods your system with cortisol. Cortisol is a bully. It is a catabolic hormone. Here is the mechanism you need to know. The pregnant alone steal. Your body uses a raw material called pregnenolone to make hormones. It can use it to make testosterone for reproduction and muscle or cortisol for survival. It cannot make both in high amounts. When you are running 100 kilometers a week, your body screams survival. It steals all the pregnenolone to make cortisol. The factory stops making testosterone. The result is exercise-induced hypogonadism. Your muscle mass drops even though you are training. Your belly fat increases. Cortisol storage. Your mood becomes irritable or depressed. Your reproductive system shuts down. You are essentially running yourself into a state of accelerated aging. You might be a slightly faster runner for a few months, but you are becoming a biologically weaker organism. Is a three-minute personal best worth your endocrine health? The solution, strategic laziness. So, does this mean you should never run 100 kilometers a week? No, it means you have to earn the right to run it. You earn it by having elite level recovery. But for 95% of us, the secret to being a bionic runner, fast, resilient, and hormonally optimized, is a concept I call strategic laziness. It is the philosophy of the minimum effective dose. We want the maximum result for the minimum necessary stress. Here is the challenge. If you are currently running 90 kilometers a week and feeling like a zombie, I guarantee you that if we cut you down to 60 kilometers, but we increase the quality, we replace junk miles, miles that are too fast to recover, too slow to adapt, with specific threshold work. We add heavy strength training to boost testosterone. We prioritize sleep. Do you know what will happen? Your 10 K time will improve. Why? Because you will finally be recovered. Your glycogen will be full, your muscles will be repaired, and your hormones will bounce back. You will feel like a beast again. You will run faster on less mileage. That is smart training. Beyond Pace, the membership, this balance between pushing for performance and protecting your hormonal health is delicate. It requires looking at more than just pace. It requires understanding your internal biology. Most coaches only look at the stopwatch. I look at the blood work. In my exclusive membership channel, we look at the other side of running, the biomarkers. We discuss specifically how to read the cortisol to testosterone ratio. We analyze which supplements, like ashwagandha or zinc, can help buffer the stress of high mileage. We talk about nutritional protocols to stop the pregnancy then alone steal. If you want to understand the full picture of your physiology, the engine under the hood, the link to join is in the description. 9. Closing and call to action. To summarize the curve, 0 to 30 kilometers. Healthy, great for life, but slow. 40 to 70 kilometers, the alpha zone, the sweet spot for performance and hormones. 80 kilometers plus, the danger zone. Unless you live like a pro, you risk a crash. Where are you right now? Be honest. Are you in the sweet spot or are you digging a hole? Most runners are afraid to cut mileage because their ego tells them less is weak. Less is not weak. Less is strategic. I have coached hundreds of athletes who cut their mileage by 20%, added structure, and smashed their personal best while getting their libido back. If you are stuck in the more is better trap, if you want a plan that optimizes both your race times and your health, if you want to find your specific sweet spot based on your age, your job, and your biology, I can build that plan for you. My contact details are in the pinned comment, email, and WhatsApp. Send me a message. Let's stop training you into the ground and start training you up. See you in the next video. Your running journey, powered by science.